Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd from Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan with your monthly uh, recall report for the uh, month of April. These are some uh, recalls that have been made known, maybe they haven't gone into effect yet. And I'm putting this out not just for new owners, because when a new owner uh, buys an RV, when your warranty is registered, that gives the RV company your information to like alert you to a recall, which is how most of this would be handled. But sometimes people move, or sometimes you're not the first owner, and the manufacturer doesn't necessarily have a way to get that information to you. So purely as a courtesy, not just for our customers, but just our RV community in general, we put those out for you. And if you like that kind of stuff, hit the little subscribe button, follow along as we put these out roughly about every month when I get a chance to put them through. Let's get started. We're beginning with um, certain 2021 Phaeton motorhomes from the Tiffin Company. Uh, their passenger side roof mounted awnings may have been installed improperly. Something about a body panel may not be secured uh, uh, appropriately. Naturally, Tiffin is taking care of this at no additional charge. I will leave uh, a, some information regarding like what their open recall number is and their customer service number. If you happen to be a 2021 Phaeton owner and you haven't heard anything about this yet, you may call that with your VIN number to verify, see if your unit is one of those that might be affected. Also up in the world of big fancy motorhomes, Numar has put a notice out that uh, they have a number of 2021 motorhomes whose steering columns may be essentially just a little too short and coming loose in transit, which is obviously a significant concern. They're doing the right thing and they're getting this taken care of for folks. It's expected to uh, begin rolling out June 11th. And I had to keep a cheat sheet on this one. Newmar, beautiful, beautiful products, great company. And uh, they, they have so many models, though. Their names all sound similar, and they're like the same words in different combinations, and it always trips me up. So this may affect London Airs, Dutch Stars, New Airs, Ventanas, or Ventana. I, I, don't, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm sorry. I'll probably get it wrong. I'm just a simple Midwestern boy with a nasally nose accent. So, <laughs> Ventana. <laughs> Mountain Airs, and again, that is expected to roll out uh, on June 11th. And again, I'll leave notes on all these things down in the video description uh, for, for you to be able to reference after this video. Keystone's put a notice out uh, on one specific floor plan from the entirety of their bullet line uh, from for the model years of 20 to 21. Uh, a fire escape egress window may have been installed incorrectly, which could obviously pose a safety concern. God forbid you ever had to do, uh, you know, a Woody Woodpecker and pew, right out the side of that thing. Obviously, hopefully that never comes to pass. And thankfully it is uh, only affecting a very, very small number of the things that they put out there. I found another note from Keystone as well, actually affecting uh, a pair of Aspen Trail models, uh, also for the 20 to 21 season. Now, this is going to throw some people off that uh, Keystone has put a notice out about a Dutchman Aspen Trail. You may not realize Dutchman is actually a subsidiary of Keystone. Keystone uh, basically does all the back-end fulfillment for both uh, Dutchman and Crossroads RV, both of which are effectively children of Keystone. So Keystone's putting a notice out uh, for folks who bought a 20 or 21 Aspen Trail. Uh, it's a pair of toy haulers, 2760 THS and 3250 THS, I believe the numbers were. There's a lot of, a lot of alphabet soup, a lot of numbers in this business out there trying to keep that all up here in the old noggin. It's getting fuzzy, unlike my forehead, which is getting, you know, thin. <laughs> um, but uh, evidently some ramp door fasteners may not have been installed properly. It could cause them to strip out. Obviously, nobody wants to have a loose ramp door going down the road. And again, Keystone would notify original owners of this. If you're a second owner or if you've changed addresses, you may want to run your VIN number through your service center to see if yours is uh, one of the RVs that might qualify for this or, or maybe not qualify, but be affected. I think you know what I mean. The next one here, it's so small, I, I almost felt it was laughable. On some 2021 Keystone Passport 282 uh, bunkhouses that have a uh, that rear wall kind of compartment door, evidently there were a number of them that rolled down the production line with the spare tire mounted a little too close to the left-hand taillight, which is just obstructing a view of the taillight. Obviously a safety item. It's a very easy thing to relocate if you are interested if yours is one of those where the tire is mounted in front of it, uh, the thing you can take it to a service center keystone is paying to have the tire shifted over that is that's that's a pretty minor thing though i'm not good with tools that's probably something i would just take care of at my house rather than lug my rv around but maybe you don't have the tools the time or the interest to each their own i'm just putting the information out there 
And in a very rare instance of oversight, the Rockwood Flagstaff Group, which are sister brands, by the way, the one is the other, in case you weren't aware. That's still something a lot of people don't seem to realize. Evidently, they had a number of fifth wheels built in the 2021 um, model year that actually had underrated pin boxes uh, when compared against the GVW of the RV. Very, very uncommon for them to make a little slip up like that. Um, the uh, rollout for this is expected to begin on May 14th, and uh, my suspicion is basically it's just effectively swapping a pin box out for one that's a little heavier duty that they probably already use in some of their other models. My, my guess as to how that one occurred, because like I said, this is not a camp that makes a lot of oversights like that, is uh, as different floor plans had evolved over time or as axles has been increased, the GVW increased beyond what the pin box used to be perfectly sufficient for. It's all kind of theoretical math, but you know, you don't want to take chances when it comes to safety. So I'm glad to see them stepping up and taking care of things. They're also one of the best companies I've ever seen from the, the warranty fulfillment side of things. Rockwood doesn't make a lot of mistakes per capita. They know that it's more of a premium product. And it's just like this, they tend to step up and take care of their owners. And motorhomes built on the Sprinter chassis in, I believe, low light conditions may actually find the uh, display, your multi-function display, which tells you, you know, like miles and all that kind of stuff. It can actually be too bright at night, which is considered a visual impairment for the driver, which is a federally regulated thing. So they're uh, putting a rollout on that, I think, uh, for mid to late uh, May, uh, so that that could be adjusted at a, a service facility for you. Of, no charge, of course. That's the nice thing about recalls. At least it's all taken care of at no charge for you. Winnebago Towables has also put out a notice on uh, a sticker on some of their 2020 mini series travel trailers in which the incorrect tire information was printed on a sticker. Thankfully, physically, the actual trailers produced themselves didn't have any issues related to tire sizing or being underrated. But if you as the owner went to swap tires out using the information on that tag as a reference point, you may accidentally put on the wrong tires in, uh, in comparison to like the weights and the load capacities of that trailer. So effectively, they're, they'll be issuing new stickers that could be swapped out for a couple things. Pretty minor. Similar to the little dash light thing on the Sprinter stuff, there's a certain number of 2021 Berkshire Class A motorhomes from Forest River uh, that uh, went down the production line whose taillights don't have the uh, proper reflectivity, basically. They're not reflecting enough light back at the drivers behind them, which is uh, one of those uh, you know visual impairment and safety things that is being addressed. And I actually... From the time this rolls out, I think it's it's like uh, early May, mid-May when that comes out. So right around the corner here, something that you can get addressed in the near future. And potentially the biggest recall on this list, spanning um, Ford chassis from the 20 to 21 seasons, affecting potentially up to 16,000 chassis out there. Um, Ford has put a recall out uh, indicating that the rear axle may not have been properly lubricated from the factory level, which uh, could cause bearing damage. It could also cause the axle to, to seize and fail. This could cause parking brakes to fail, could cause the RV to spontaneously shift into neutral. Obviously a, a whole bunch of bad things. So they're getting that put out there. And I believe at the time of uh, this video's uh, publication, that recall has already gone into active rollout and effect. And our last one today for the month of April, today for the month of April, I don't know, I think you know what I mean. Our last one for this video, another little uh, item from Tiffin on certain 2021 um, Phaetons again, the uh, uh, valve stem extender for like the interior of the dual tire, the, the little stabilizer that holds that in place may come loose, which could obviously cause it to rub on the tire, which could, you know, if, if that valve stem gets punctured, it would cause tire pressure loss, which is obviously an issue. So they're taking care of those little stabilizers free of charge for folks. And that's all I have for you today. And remember, uh, when, you, when you hear these things, remember that these are companies who are stepping up to take care of their owners. We are putting, and most of these are brands that we don't carry here. Uh, and I'm not going through and not filtering like we carry Rockwood. I mentioned something related to Rockwood on here. This is not about propaganda. This is about safety, which is why we're putting this out. We're putting this out as a courtesy, again, not just to the original owners who should already be notified of this stuff, but potentially secondhand owners who are not actively notified of these potential safety items. If you want to keep in tune with these things as they come out, hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate what we're doing here trying to keep folks safe, hit the little like button on the video. Drop us a little note that says thanks, Halet RV. And again, next month I'll try to make another pass through and get you caught back up. So as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, 
and happy Halo camping, everyone. Stay safe out there.